<clears throat> All right, here we go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, or should I say, welcome be? <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome me back to the channel. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, or should I say, welcome myself back to the channel? It's been a minute since I've been here. I posted a video about four weeks ago about me playing multiverses, and that didn't have anything to it. There was no intro, no outro. I just started recording one day we were playing multiverses because it was an insane day, as you guys saw in the video. And then my last real gameplay was a year ago with Aerial Knights that we didn't even go back and finish. But you know, it's kind of hard being a content creator. Or or trying to do something that you really like to do especially when you're drawing in your sorrows in adult life and things like that but today i'm gonna be doing a video as you see i still have my halloween stuff on and it's november 7th uh i've been here on and off but i wanted to show you guys like a tour of my island before i really start to decorate um i'm starting to get some ideas together this is technically my second island i've ever had and i stopped playing this island i think in june I want to say and I didn't pick it back up until early October so we're gonna be walking around the island I want to explain things that I want to do but I just wanted to give you guys like a before before I actually go through and show a bunch of stuff I am playing Animal Crossing over on my Twitch so make sure you guys check that out we also are playing Disney Dreamlight over there as well and a couple of other different games so make sure you guys check me out over there I'm trying to get affiliate over there I'm trying to get you know just a bunch of subscribers over here as well so make sure you guys like subscribe that helps me out a bunch but for now let's go change our outfit let's go get out of this face paint um and i'll show you things along the way but, but let's change because i'm tired of looking like a blue what is this a zombie and yeah it's a bunch of construction stuff i know i know you can put that there <clears throat> I'm probably I probably don't have to even be able to change my skin color. I don't even remember what my skin color was. Oh, my my eyes are purple. Why is it still showing that I'm blue? Did wear a little coat. Okay, you can only wear the coat. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's probably not that cold outside, so maybe we do. Oh. I feel like I need more clothes. I think we could wear a sweater. We got two sweaters. Maybe we do a green sweater. I don't know if I got, we got some distressed jeans. I'm not liking the sweater. Maybe it's a long sleeve shirt. I'm gonna do stretch jeans then. Okay, maybe some jeans. Oh, I could wear some joggers. Or I could wear like a two of these. Oh, here we go. Um,
Oh, cool, it's a swim camp. I need to see my skin color. I don't know why I'm not. Really go with the clear stuff. Okay. All right, so we are completely changed now. Um, I'm not really, I don't really care for the outfit. I need a lot more clothes, but I got some cornrows on underneath this. My eyes were already pinkish purple because of Halloween, so I just kept them there. And I wore the um label hat, Liddell, Liddell, her hat, because she's actually on the island yet, and I haven't talked to her. So why not? you know go have a chat with her wearing her stuff but i figured i start in the house with this tour um since i'm already here so i do have all the rooms all the loans are not paid i'm on my final loan which is like what 2.5 or whatever i haven't started working on it because uh, honestly i just i don't have a lot of stuff um my house just fair warning my house is pretty empty uh, i have a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory that i just need to really just go out and lay out but i'm looking for oops but i'm looking for certain stuff um it doesn't even matter i'm looking for certain stuff i want my houses my rooms to have a certain feel to them um some of them i do know what i want and some of them i don't so obviously i want this to be uh probably the living room area probably kitchen um that type of area this is the halloween like what is this wallpaper and tile i won't be using this i just put it down because i got it from the halloween event thought it was pretty cute um and that's that i just figured out that these two items were in the game i didn't know they were a thing and i thought they were cute so i'm gonna probably buy a bunch of these square like is it like a light square or something square light but you can sit on them uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna buy a bunch of those and decorate my island with them But yeah, so kitchen and living room area here uh, This is gonna be a music room Or a dungeon probably a little bit of both and that's because as soon as it load in <laughs> And that's because I plan on having all the gyroids if that's how you pronounce it and then every um what is it stereo in the game um just because i heard on tiktok that they make a certain noise so i do want to do that at least once in animal crossing so that will probably be what this room is about um it sounds pretty good right now so if you guys just listen not this song though hold on let's get a different song let's get a different song yeah so i do kind of um the walls won't stay like that like i said i was to um like I said, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to be a dungeon or not. The only reason why I changed my mind is because of this flooring. I think this flooring is so cool. I want to use it, but I I just don't know where. Why not come in here and listen to music and go for a swim? Um, so we got to figure out what to do with the walls. But other than that, I think that's what that room is going to be. 
I think I'm missing three gyroids and of course I'm missing a bunch of stereos so looking for all of that this next one over here is probably going to be the bathroom more than likely it would be a bathroom like typical animal crossing stuff yeah definitely gonna make this a bathroom or like a spa room or something it might be end up being both in one <laughs> And then this back room is going to be an office. And then of course the room that we started in is gonna be my bedroom. Uh, I have the workstation, the workbench in there and like all the other stuff, little random stuff. But yeah, this is kind of a room, the only room that's kind of um, made into something. I do, I don't want this desk. I'm waiting to get the pink PC because I know that's in the game. Um, so I'm save my bells just in case that i come across that one day but this won't stay i'm also looking for a different kind of gaming chair um even though this one is pretty cute but i just i i want to i want a different gaming chair as you guys can see but yeah um just regular stuff uh oh we can turn that back on it got hot already but yeah just typical stuff i'm not done i don't have a lot of furniture because this game trolls me every time i come on by giving me the same pieces um, down here in the basement is going to be my reading nook or reading room or whatever. So I just finally found books. So I have to make the book wall, which I will do. I'm trying to become friends with Dina so I can buy her bookshelf. Because uh, I didn't know you could buy stuff from vill uh, villagers' houses until the other day. I played a game and he was like, um, you can pick anything in the house to buy. And I was like okay i didn't know you did that so um i'm waiting for dina to invite me over and tell me i can buy stuff in her house so i can buy her bookshelf um but yeah so this is going to be the reading room and as you guys can see this is kind of what i want i don't know if i'm gonna do brick down here uh just because i don't want my feet to be cold while i'm reading um i'll probably put a fireplace in here and things like that but yeah i do have ideas and mood boards and stuff for it so i just gotta get the stuff for it you know but let's head outside so we are back at the front of my map or island as you see we are at dodo airlines um and i'm just gonna let you guys know my island is pretty bare uh i've already begun like picking up a bunch of stuff and just throwing it into storage um a lot of stuff is A lot of areas are developed to how I want them, and then some you can see that they are still a work in progress. As you see my map at the bottom, um, where the houses are, are exactly where I want them. The bottom houses, I want to move over just a little bit. As you can see, it's not fully in that square, but I don't think I'm going to let it bother me. Um, I'm going to use you... Uh, I'm going to move the museum, don't know where, and then, of course, I have two different tents on there. Oh, Zell's coming down. Um, a couple of tents there, because I'm going to create those into some things that I'll talk about soon. But let's get started. Entryway is at all, is nothing like I wanted to do. I didn't want to get rid of the trees or the bushes <laughs> when I was cleaning up, so I was like, well, I'll just put them at the front of my island for now. Um, obviously, these decorations uh, have to go, because, unfortunately, Halloween is over. Over. and then we come out and i have what is this again <laughs> let me get pretty what is it got oh okay Okay. and like i said um label is here and then when you come from the trees you hit resident services where um tom and isabel are there but let's talk to label Hello. Sure, why not? All right, 
right, so I just got done talking to um, LaBelle. Uh, she told me she wants me to put on a party outfit, so we might do that later. But yeah, so here is Resident Services. We have some very loud music playing right now. I'm just gonna turn, oop, I'm just gonna turn that off. Yeah, and then um, I have it, okay. So yeah, so what I'm going to do with this area is um, buy the brick uh, that goes around this and of course put the brick around here um, and make it look really nice. And then I'll add uh, a little, maybe a little play area or workout area up here um, for our villagers because our villagers tend to work out, well my villagers tend to work out a lot. Um, hey Zoe, you're so cute. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that, add some more bikes, um, and I just bought an electric, sco electric scooter, so I'll probably add the bikes and the scooters in a certain area, and make that look nice. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the entrance here, I do want it to be a very, um, I have a very short breath though. I do want it to be some sort of pathway. I don't know if I want to go straight into resident services or what. what is... This is why you can never just go straight into tours and stuff. Things happen and you have to catch stuff. I don't know if I have a fly. Oh, wait, I didn't read to see if she said I caught a fly or not. Did we just catch that or did we have a fly already? Okay, we had a fly already. I wasn't sure. Anyway, so coming out from there in the resident um, area, service area, um, you do come to a little farm. I love the farm area. I need to work on how to section stuff off a little better. So here we have Renee's house. Let's see. She's actually in here. Oh, I forgot. She has a cold. We have to bring her some medicine, which... I'll have to do later after I give you guys a tour because then that's another 15 minutes added on. So Renee lives here. Um, this is my second time having Renee. I also have Renee on my first island. Um, she's cool to have, but when she's ready to go, she can go. This is Oken's house, which is lovely. Uh, don't mind these pumpkins. I put these pumpkins here because uh, you guys know in October everything took orange pumpkins and I didn't even get to use them because October came so fast. It was just a it was just, it just came so fast. I didn't get to enjoy the festivities, but I just got um, whoever lives here. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a blue penguin. He's pretty cool, but when he's ready to go, he can definitely leave as well. But yeah, I have a little garden area. I do plan to fully upgrade this garden area. So instead of having pathways here, like all of this literally is going to be dirt. Um, I really got the idea from TikTok because the whole like messy garden on TikTok thing is going around and that's pretty trendy. So I was like, why not do a messy garden in Animal Crossing where, you know, just things growing however and wherever they want to. So I'm probably gonna do that. That would definitely maximize the amount of stuff that I have in here. Um, and yeah, so I do have have a couple of thing here, things here, uh, like a furnace. Uh, of course, gotta have a workbench in the farm. I do have stereos around my island because I wanted to play my own music, but it gets too much trying to change all of these every day. So they they exist for now. And I bought a button. I thought it would look cool here. Don't know what it's supposed to do. I was gonna put something water next to it, and maybe like it would be something dealing with water. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this has got a big windmill, of course, my creepy, creepy scarecrow, and different types of, um, vegetables that you can grow. So, that is the farm area. Like I said, I just need to work on sectioning a lot of things off. These trees will not stay here, or it might turn into a, uh, forest. I'm not sure. I don't think I want that many trees on my island. Um, so we'll see about that. We'll get to the beach later. So this is actually my house. I did want my house on the island. That was kind of my main reasoning for picking uh, the map that I chose because I knew I wanted my house just sitting right here on the edge. And then I have my own private beach as well. I do want to do this area again too. This was my first attempt um on this island doing my area now i want a different style but it works for now we have like a little spa area and a sitting area a place where you can come and grill out and get some stuff get your smokes going 
and things like that of course i have a different radio out here and we're going to turn that off as well um uh, and then of course a little sitting area come out here and fish uh for a while animal crossing was actually putting our everyday uh, message in a bottle at my island which i thought was really cool but yeah then i have a pathway of flowers these were the first flowers that i grew so i can definitely upgrade these flowers as well um but yeah that's my little area just right off the river i haven't changed too many of the rivers and ponds um I, you will see the ones that i have because they look like they are horribly done um but moving on i haven't even picked up my fossils but moving on um yeah we got a lot of construction this is what's happening all over my island this is the an actual representation of what is happening is that one why, why aren't you doing stuff okay but yeah we got a bunch of stuff here my intentions of buying this was to sell it i didn't know these was in the game they um are they cost a, a lot and i noticed that people want them on nookazon so i just have to stop being lazy and post them on nookazon and make some bells they're pretty cool though i will say for now they will rest on my island as con like seemingly construction i should probably put it at the beginning we might do that um, then moving down, uh, I do have, once again, mood board for my, um, each island area. Like, I want to put some, like, little cute picnic baskets and, of course, areas where people can lounge and a surfing area and things like that. So, I do have stuff dealing with, like, furniture, uh, dealing with all the areas that I want. Once again, I just have to get out here, put everything together, get the design codes and things like that. Um... Yep, so we got a little area for people to sit. This area is mainly for the villagers that live right here. So I need to figure out which villagers... Well, really just... Kitten. Uh, so... Oh, well, you know, we can do this. We can just keep going. So yeah, so we're just gonna uh, move on down. So here I had this spooky tree. Um, and I just put it out here. <laughs> Obviously with these mismatched pillows. Um... So yeah, we need to redo this. I want to use a lot of these spooky trees. Uh, I just don't know where I want to put them, but I do want them because then there's a Halloween one with the jack-o'-lanterns on them too that I think is really cute. Uh, and I just think they look pretty awesome. So I need to figure out what to do with this. I might do a little area here of just like mini trees. I don't know. Um, we'll go from there. Of course, my villagers are crazy. So just in case they drowned, <laughs> they can save themselves. Oh, here is... um. I don't know. I can't remember your name for some reason. Uh, Ronald? I don't know what that is. Rolled? But yeah, he's pretty cute. Um, I don't want him. Oh, I'll go over what animals or villagers I want at the end if I remember. But I have a certain set of villagers that I want um, that I need to go hunt for. So yeah, that's... um rolled ron we're just gonna call you ronald sir um so yeah so i don't know why this only has one chair i thought this had two i probably picked it up and never put it back down but that is the front half oh and this village is uh this village this beach is for the villagers that live here um when i get the villagers that i actually want in this in this game i'll probably cater the beaches towards the villagers that live around them um like with stuff that they like and things like that um, so let's move over here. So this area is going to be the shopping area. I'm definitely, I already have the fences that I want to put around this area because it's both of these. Um, but yeah, I have fences and design ideas for what, how to separate this. I just have to do it, but I have, um, Tom and Nook or, and then of course the Able Sisters. I actually haven't been in the store today, so let me see what's actually in here. Okay, so nothing. Uh, well, this is actually cute. Too bad I already have one. I don't want to buy one and I'm not going to use it. Um, what is this? Oh. Maybe? I don't know. I will have to see because I have an idea for where it could go. This is a green table. Oh, a vintage low table for 14000 No, oh, thank you. The crazy part is I need tables, but they keep giving me tables like this. Like, I don't want that. 
Oh, it's a street organ. I thought it was like a puppet something. I'm, a, I'm okay. I don't know if I'm gonna actually... I don't think I'm gonna use that. Maybe maybe if I used it in um the, the front of residence services when I make like a little area for a little common area, possibly. I'm not going to Able Sisters. Well, I'll do that on my own free time, but I wanted to see what was in there. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a shopping area. So don't mind this lawnmower. There was actually weeds in front of it, but I had to use it to make my scarecrow. Um, this is here from Halloween. I was so stoked when I got that I had to put it down and I kind of just left it here. Uh, I do have a, an idea of where to put this because I want this on my island, but I have to make room for it. And you guys will see that soon. Do I have anything over here? Oh, I guess I could showcase Able Sisters. I'm actually proud of the way that I decorated this a bit. Um, I have some more stuff to add. But of course, another stereo that we're going to actually turn off for now. But yeah, we have a changing room out here. Um, there's not too much of anything. I just put some trees back there. Uh, just to give it a little... Uh, just to make it look different and out of the way. Or not part of everything else. Like I said, I'm going to separate this. But yeah. If they wanted to come out here and work up and stuff, they can do that. Um, and just to let you know, there's a little a little shop. Uh, some of my villagers do come over here to fish, which is pretty cool. Oh, and then I have a beach right here in front of them as well. It's just like a little hangout spot for the workers. Which I need, because I need to do something with that. I really need to get my beaches in order. This is Naomi. She is, as I would say on my Twitch, she is the mom. Um... I oh yeah I did just fast travel today too because I've been like four days behind no there I have no beef with you Naomi I actually like you we did we speak to Zal yeah we did this is Flora um she competes with me for some reason She's pretty cool, though. Um, I think everybody has Flora. Like, so many people I know have Flora. But I'm actually ready for Flora to go, too. I'm gonna turn that off as well. Back here, this is just random trees. I, once again, don't know what to do with all the trees on my island. Uh, some of them have already been sold and stuff. But this actually is my tree farm here. So I have, uh, as you can see, what it, what are these? Um... I cannot remember the name of these trees. I have these trees. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what are the name of these things? Trees. What is... Bamboo, what is the name of this tree? I can't remember this tree. Um, yeah, I really can't remember this tree. So we have this tree. I have a bamboo. I have a couple apple trees just leading back down. I have cherry. I have, I know there's an odd space between here. I, I, <laughs> I have cherries, oranges, peaches, and pears, of course. It is time for mushrooms to grow, uh, which I guess just started in November. So I need to pluck these. But yeah, um, I'm going to put like a little tape seating area down here just in case. I don't know. Villagers don't come over here because they physically can't, but, you know. Um, I am gonna do, like, a little walkway or pathway down here. I'll just all, all the way to the end, just so you can get to over to the other side. Um, but that's what I plan to do with this area. Nothing too serious or whatever. Um, that's why I was like, I don't think I want too many trees. I don't think I have that. I missed it. Okay. I did not have this. Okay. Um, it's November. I have not caught anything new. No new bugs. Bur birds. <laughs> no new bugs or like fish or anything like that. So um, I definitely need to do that. But yeah. So this is my tree area. And then moving on, we'll get to like the first uh, or the second area for villagers. I, I have a like little wedding bench here because I need to put something here. Uh, I did terraform this quite a bit. Uh, I like it personally. It's just bare. Uh, I don't know what to do with the upper parts of half of these. Um, just because, like, they're almost complete ledges. I could possibly turn it into maybe, like, a little waterfall section um, all through here. But we'll see. I think these will look really cute through here. But I have to go back to work to even grab these. But I think those will be cute everywhere. 
Um, my air, my idea for this, especially with the weeds growing back here, is just like at night when if you like come here, you can just see the weeds are in the background. Or if I go back to here, you look in the background and it's just like those trees are there, and then the weeds growing nice and tall. I personally think it looks very country and homey. Um, so that was my idea between all of that. Of course, once again, very bare. Have to come in here and figure out what to do. But yeah, so this is where Flora lives. Simon, which he is home. So let's take a look at Simon. Simon, and I also had Simon before as well. I didn't like Simon on my last island, um, but he's pretty cool on this island. We have very fun conversations. Follow me on TikTok as well. I will be posting stuff like just memories from Animal Crossing over there and of course other little different gameplays and snippets over there. So make sure you follow me over there. But Simon, wake up. <laughs> Oh, he's dreaming about his grandma. <laughs> okay, he has the itis. Um, but yeah, his house is actually really cute. Also very country. So we definitely are in the country. The only person that lives over here that shouldn't be over here is Flora. Flora honestly should be in the city. And I'll, sh I'll show you guys that. Well, it's not even the city. It's still like countryside, but very like bougie. And then Dina stays over here. Dina has um, social anxiety issues. Separation issues for me. Don't know why, but we'll say hi to Dina. Oh, she's in here cooking. Hey, girl. Oh, well, let me get some of that food you cook in, though. Okay. Okay. Oh, back to what I was saying about the um uh, book room. This is <laughs> this is what I want. I want this. That's why I was like, she needs to invite me back in here so I can buy this. That's the only thing I want in here is the bookshelf. I don't know if it's a piece of furniture you can craft or if it's something you just have to find, um, but I need it. But yeah, let's move on. Like, see how the, ch like, when you're up here, like, as soon as I, I definitely decorate it, get some pass up here, some more flowers or something, like, oh my goodness, the trees back there with the weeds, I gotta an apple tree right here it's just so country feeling um i just don't know how to decorate it um that's what i need help with most just decorating uh but yeah uh we're just gonna keep on moving and then we'll get to the beach area down here <laughs> once again a lot of this is just here a lot of this is just fluff from when you have to get your island to three stars so I haven't cleaned up since then, so we're, we're going to do the great cleanup. That's basically what we're going to do. Um, got exercise stuff out here. Turn that off. Yep, got exercise equipment out here. I do actually like this area, though. Um, I just like the idea of being able to surf. We already got a guy here on a boat. I don't know if you guys ever, like, go to the beach, or you ever been, like, to Bahamas or something. There's always, like, a guy on a boat trying to get you to give him money so he can take you on a tour <laughs> so um that's that and then of course we can go surfing i think the waves are a bit more like more over here than it is on the other island um so yeah i think this this part is really cool and of course i have my swimsuit here just in case i want to just get in the water and go look for sea critters so yeah and then, of course, I love this rock right here. Um, I need to do more to it. I want some more of, like, mossy rocks uh, just to fill this whole area with. Um, of course, from here, this is a good spot to look at a telescope, so that will be staying. And then uh, when people come, they actually like my lighthouse, so the lighthouse will come. Uh, will stay. I don't know what to do with this uh, bear. So he's part of whatever this monument is. But yeah, as you keep going, a lot of the stuff is still fluff. I, I don't know what they're cooking here, but they're cooking. 
got a trash can so there's not people littering and of course i'm gonna make this area um a suntan area like a real actual public beach uh for this area right here i think that would be really cool and then back here of course just more fluff this probably will say because you can look out and look at other islands that are back there um and then i thought this was really cool but once again don't know what to do with that so yeah, I think that's all my beaches except for one. I believe I have one more left. Um, this area is supposed to be my lucky area. So it's bamboo and I was originally gonna put money trees to here. These were money trees, of course, they're being plucked. But um, I figured with the money trees, I might as well just take all the bells off when I see them and putting in my savings account. Um, at the ATM because I I forgot about interest until they told me that I got interest the other day and I was like well why am I just leaving my money trees everywhere instead of putting them um in the bank so that's what I would do now this is my favorite area of the whole map and probably will continue to be as I work on it some more but this is my flower garden this whole section over here is dedicated to flowers i know that's a lot of real estate and animal crossing i don't care this is what i want um but yeah we have i want to say those are hard oak trees or whatever um but yeah i have flowers a bunch of them i'm gonna lessen them and shorten how big the uh patches of colors are that way i can fit literally all the flowers here um but yeah here it is uh yes we're gonna have some more statues in here too look at the look at the butterflies um but yeah it just keeps going it just keeps going you can kind of see when i first made this all the only colors i had were yellow red white and orange <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna come through and make sure that i reduce some of the certain colors and then add in the new colors and then add in um the bug what are these bug statues as well um but yeah i love this area i got a little fountain here which i think is really cute uh i have a bubble machine right here and i want to put the bubble machine behind trees all throughout here so when you come up here it's just bubble blowings everywhere and then of course i want to put these lanterns down the path as well i also have these uh things from i can't remember what these are called but the little light up fairy dirt or whatever that i also have that input over here as well and um yeah i think this is so cute this is my favorite area as you can see i have a lot more flowers uh, blues purples pinks um i'm actually have a flower well, i don't know what station over here where i'm trying to grow different flowers but i forget to water them and it doesn't rain that much right now because of the season we're in but yeah um as soon as those grow i just pluck them out and then take them where they need to go uh yeah and that's pretty much it Oh, look at all the butterflies that's over here that's so cute but anyways moving up here i have more flowers because um i'm trying to grow every flower <laughs> and i haven't even put all of them out but as i was saying the excess flowers are over here we flowers are taking over the island okay who doesn't love flowers i don't know um but the flowers are gonna go into different areas on the island and they're also gonna be color coded depending on the area of the island as well so i'm just kind of stashing them over here by the campsite it's not really being used i've maybe had three villagers visit my island the whole time um my houses stay full okay uh we just don't give villagers around we don't get visitors we just don't um and then back here this is the only bad part about this layout is uh the guy that comes and gives you paintings i don't remember his name um the little fox he is back here so i have to like use my um what is it a uh, ladder to get down here um which is kind of cool but i also need to decorate it but i haven't found much for back here so but i will decorate this little space back here and give him some you know I don't know his own space but yeah so that is that uh this is one of the rivers that i redid uh it is a little bit narrow but i didn't want it to be too big only because like i plan to use this area for something else 
uh oh yeah i forgot about this area i do have a moon here i just put this here because i put the gold flowers here um don't know what else is gonna be here it's just gonna be a nice little cute area uh i like i said i don't know what to do with no I don't know what to do with half of this stuff but um hopefully i can find enough decorations to start getting some ideas and really try to find stuff that's on my mood board but yeah let's move on so yeah this whole area is empty i do want to put a um restaurant here um i'm not sure what kind of restaurant just yet i think I want like a tiki bar, but that sounds like something that should go on the beach. So that might end up on the beach, but I do want to utilize this space for, um, like an area f literally for drinking. Like I want to have an area that has like drinks and stuff that people can just walk up to, um, and things like that. So I think this area would be really cute for that. And then there's nothing here. It's just bare. This is my first little attempt at an a restaurant or whatever it's more like a nightclub like there's no seating you grab your food from over here i need to put like a little bar cart and some drinks over here and then you come and you just stand over here you know what i mean you stand over here and you listen to music you know what i mean it might be a karaoke night so you can come up here and sing but yeah i really like this area i actually like the way it turns out <laughs> I just don't have any tables or anything to put stuff on like I use cardboard boxes for everything because I don't have any tables I got these tables just mix match but I'm pretty sure I don't really mind it like this is one of those rugged bars where you know like it's in one of those areas that may be hood but it's a good spot for like good wings that's what this area is so um pretty pretty pretty, pretty uh. Um, but yeah, this area is pretty cool. I don't want the yellow flowers here. I think I'm gonna do black flowers once I actually get a lot of black flowers. Um, so yeah, that'll be that. And then we're coming up to our third, um, like, village area. This is more of, like, the city almost. Um, we have a few people that live over here, like Paulo. Is Paulo home? Oh, that's Tank. Tank is a rhino today. Before I got on, he just mentioned that he wanted to move out. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Tank is, he's pretty cool. Um, He's just not fit for the island. So I'm not sad to lose him. I'm happy that I got to see him and enjoy him. Um, But yeah, I'm actually glad he's moving out. Um, And Paulo is not here. I don't know where Paulo is. Pa Paulo so far is the only villager that I actually won it and got um so we'll show him he's uh my first favorite villager i have a villager named ken here um he wasn't originally on my list but his room is like a dojo um and i can't get rid of him now so he also stays but uh i am gonna widen this area here i'll show you that when i get down there as to why um but i want all of this to really come up some just so they can this can move out the way obviously and then they can come and sit here because they love to sit in this chair right here um I've, I've observed that and um i want them to have a bigger space up here uh as of right now i just drop where is it i just drop stuff here that i don't need like i already know and then when i have like friends and stuff come over here girl what what is the problem Who is it Renee again? Who did who is it? It's Paolo. Girl, at this point it's you. At this point, at this point it's you. It's her. Cause she the other day, the other day, she had an issue. Little insert here. Um, the other day she had an issue with Renee. It said the same thing. <clears throat> So at this point, it's her. Now she okay. She the mom. She be going through stuff. Oh, there's Paula right there looking at the food. Hey, Paula. Uh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate. This is Paula, though. Let me ask him what's up, though.
Okay. Yeah, so Apollo is my favorite. Obviously, if you can't tell, we love the color pink around here. And he's a pink elephant. And elephant is my favorite animal. So, it's two and two. Like, you don't get any better than that. Um, What was that noise? Oh, he made that noise. Zell lives up here. And Naomi also lives up here. Which, um, but you have seen both of those. But yeah, this is their little area. Also, not really decorated. Like I said, it's kind of like... It's not the city, but it's not, like, country either. I, I, I don't know what it is. Like, the stores are down the street. You might have to go a little bit further. The gas station is not too close, but if you got, like, a quarter tank of gas, you can make it to the gas station. Like, like that. I don't know. <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. Um, It's, like, the rich part of the country. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Um, let's walk this way, actually. down from there uh you can really come down the stairs uh these are <laughs> so i guess i'll start right here so this is one tent right here this is under whose account is this under is it gonna tell me whose account this is under it does not tell me whose account this under oh, oh it does not tell me who it doesn't tell me whose account these are under, but I have one under my sister's profile, which she's in Texas. Like, I just have an another account. And then I have um, the other tent under my boyfriend's profile, which he doesn't play the Switch, even though he has one. So it's just another account. Um, What I plan to do, I asked them what like five stores or five things they would most likely like to own or want or things like that um and i believe my sister gave her hers it written my boyfriend he told me but i need things written but they have um little different things that they want um so when i'm able to get a lot of money and actually upgrade these rooms and, and have furniture and stuff they will turn into whatever areas they want it so they're like little dedications to them um in my animal crossing in my animal crossing world which i think is a really fun um little homage to get to them the other one is over here um which i think is a cute little area right off of right here which you can just come out here and fish and stuff so that's probably what i'll do as you move over i have a whole fishing area i did not know what to do with this castle wall but i thought it was so cute so like why not use it as a as a separator um so yeah i got your fish magazines even though they look like dogs but there's a sailboat right there so uh these are your 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 fishing magazines and you can come over here you can fish for competition that's why we have a gold trophy right here uh gonna get some more of those and then you can also come here and buy fish and shop and stuff or you can just come out here and fish in general uh just sitting right here i might put like a little radio over here and a uh, little pathway and stuff like that so you can fish and then of course i'm gonna make this area blue so i already started putting some blue flowers right there and that's gonna be my fishing area uh my villagers love to fish uh they love to fish on the other side of the um bridge like they like they like to fish right here which i would make sense but that's too close to my house and i don't want all that next to my house and then moving over here which i believe is our little our last area um this is the area that i want to pull out obviously i have all this space that i'm not doing anything with so i can literally pull this out so probably right here in front of this uh tree um and then decorate that more the area some more and make it a little bit bigger which is what i really want to do and then this is the last beach this beach will be for those guys up there of course don't know what i'm gonna put here I uh, got a tire stack because this game gave me a tire stack. I didn't make that. The game gave it to me. So it's just right there. And then I have a bunch of bugs in little cages. Uh, if you know, you know. Okay. Uh, just waiting for Flick. Because Flick only comes around once every two weeks. And I forget that uh, what day did time travel to him. 
Um, and then this is going to be a little mini cafe outside. They're really actually going to have more of these tables than these tables, but I have more of these tables just lying around. So, you know, that might be a mixture of both. Love, love, love this cart right here um, for bread. But yeah, got a little stove here. Probably going to come out here and add a sink, uh, some pathway decorations or some floor decorations. And of course, add some seating out here and make it look really nice. Um, is there anything that I am missing? All right, for now, um, I honestly think that is everything. I think I've showed you everything. I've tried to explain some of the things that I plan on doing. Um, this is obviously the museum. Um... I don't plan on keeping the museum here. I don't know where I would put the museum, but as of right now, they kind of just live there. Um, <clears throat> plans for the museum. I do want hundred percent my museum. So one day on Twitch, we might just do find all the bugs and butterflies and just try and travel to different months. So once again, make sure you guys follow me on there. I am trying to post on there more over more often. But I think that is really it. This is my island. It is um it is a mess before it be it can become this beautiful thing. Oh, here's Tank. Here you guys go. He is a rhino. But anyways, um that was pretty much it. I am planning to get all my ideas together and ready to redo this island. So this was a, just a little before, before I get started on everything else. Um, whatever I do to Twitch, I try to make sure that I will repost over here. That way, just in case somebody isn't on Twitch, but they want to see it. Um, but for now, uh, that will be it. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I will speak to you guys next time. Maybe that'll do it.